Shalom Rastafari. This is a continuation of Rastafari movement. Where did the Rastafari movement begin? Did it begin in Jamaica or did it begin in Ethiopia? The Rastafari movement began in Ethiopia. It began with the birth of Lij Teferi. It began with the birth of the Son of Man, fulfilling the scriptural, fulfilling the biblical prophecy, the prophecy concerning the Negus Masi, concerning Christ in his kingly character. Now, if we don't got the roots right and exact, what about the fruit? You see, if the roots are not right and exact, Right? If the roots are compromised, then the fruit is going to be as well. And this point, when taken to its logical fulfillment and overstanding, will explain why we see and experience why, what's what, who's who, where's where, so forth and so on. As we said in the previous vid, and let's just reemphasize this here, the Rastafari movement began with the birth of Edomawi Haile Selassie. The Rastafari movement begins with the birth of the Son of Man, the Son of Man in biblical prophecy, otherwise known as the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. And it began with the birth of Lij Teferi, right, the man-child, the man-child in prophecy, the man-child in revelation. Revelation reveals the truth. When we go to the book of Revelation, we also have the prophecy that is fulfilled in Kedamawi Haile Selassie, in the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. The real roots, the real roots, maybe we'll call this second part, the real roots of Rastafari are in the Bible and Ethiopia. Let's just state that once again. Let's make this very clear. The real roots of Rastafari are in the Bible and Ethiopia, the real roots of Rastafari. Right, the real roots of Rastafari, because many people have been made to believe that the Rastafari movement began in Jamaica in 1930. That's not true. That's absolutely not true. In fact, it began in Ethiopia in 19, we could say 1914. Right, when this man child, right, this man child right here, Lij Teferi, Lij Teferi Mekonen. Right, became known as Ras Teferi. Ras Teferi. Right, Ras Teferi. And this Ras Teferi was crowned in 1930 upon the throne of great King David in the biblical land of Ethiopia, Kush. Ethiopia comes from Tobia. And Tobia is the archaic indigenous name, the Shemitic, the Afro-Shemitic name of that highland country. The Greeks heard Tobia and went off and put it in their own understanding, Ethiopes or burnt oaks, like black oaks, black oaks or burnt oaks, black ops, black faces. And this is where they came up with uh, Ethiopes that you know of today. So there's many even scholars, right, Ethiopian indigenous scholars, that although they'll pretend that what we're saying is not true, many of them, and just give them a little bit of time, give them a couple of months or a couple of years, you're going to hear Ethiopian scholars updating their record. Now, whether we get credit or not from men and people, that is, that is besides the point. The point is that the truth must be known. We must be a witness to the truth concerning the King of Kings in Christ. We must be a witness to the truth. So the roots, right, the roots of Ras Teferi, right, the roots of Ras Teferi are in the Bible and 
Ethiopia, Kush, the biblical land of Kush, known as in ancient times, in the ancient times as Tobia, and latter times called Ethiopia, based on the Greco-Roman understanding and pronunciation of the name. So this is the man-child. I want to show you this is the man-child right here, Lij Tefari. Right, Lij Tefari. This is the man child right here. Lij Tefari. Right, that's the man child of prophecy, the man child of revelation, the man child that Yeshua HaMoshiach, Jesus Christos, right, prophesied of when he prophesied of the witness of the spirit of truth, the witness of the Son of Man, the witness of Kedamawi Haila Salase, who was crowned November 2nd, 1930. That is correct. That is right and exact. So we need to know our roots. 